One of the reasons why I love our church is our goal to make church intergenerational, that we will have interactions and involvement and integration that stretches across all the generations. Friends, we live in a church world here in America in 2024 where the decline among families with kids in their participation in church and faith environments is abysmal. Like it is like fallen totally off the cliff uh, across the board, across America, um, and really across the world, but particularly here in the United States that we're interested in since the pandemic. And we have been addressing that in lots of different experimental ways, and we are finding a lot of traction with this intergenerational uh, approach, which shouldn't surprise us. The church was intergenerational for about 1900 years, and it was really only in the 20th century where the church became age segregated in the way that it is, and it ended with almost the obliteration of church itself here in the United States. And so bringing back this intergenerational involvement and integration only makes sense. And we're doing that in lots of different small ways, even like a little thing like the name tags is helpful. With that, all the way to that little table you see in the back in the sanctuary, to uh, the ways that we're going to be involving uh, families with kids in the volunteer experience on Sunday mornings, as well as integrating them into the worship service, and so many other things, some of which are in our email today. So check them out, see what resonates with you, and uh, be watching for some of these things happening over the next many weeks and months. Thanks, everyone.